Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're reading for April 12th, 13th, 14th, and 15th, Monday through Thursday. Now, I am going to be using my two Radley Valentine decks. I'll use my Archangel Power Tarot cards for the main message. I'll pull one from my Angel Tarot cards. I will also pull one from my Emily Anderson Crystal deck. Now, I have prayed, meditated, and infused all the decks with Reiki energy. Remember, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. Take what you like. Leave the rest. I'm an intuitive channeler. I open myself to higher power, and my job is just to deliver the message. Now, any cards that do come out that are reversed, just remember they have a little stronger energy. Um, also, too, please remember to like, share, subscribe. It does help with the algorithms and it helps to get the videos out there. And, you know, but I do know that the message does get delivered to whoever needs to have this message. So, not too worried about it, but let's, if you would, that would be nice. Anyway, um, you know, just kind of letting you know, on the 14th, in the afternoon, about 1 something in the p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Venus goes into Taurus. And this will help with a, this will bring about some stability in some of the relationships. Now, the only thing was, and I'm, I was trying to find why I was getting this feeling per se, but I was kind of feeling like some unusual energies around the 13th and the 14th, possibly even starting the evening of the 12th. So kind of like the evening of the 12th, 13th all day and possibly early 14th. You know, I mean, I'm going to use the astrological word of, I just felt like it was wonky, okay? A little bit off. When I feel like that, my best advice is not to get worried, not to be afraid. It's not that. Remember, fear is the tool of the darker side. So we're not doing that one. Sometimes it's just good to just kind of stay close to, at hand, close to your home. And I know many of you are still, you know, in quarantine. Many of you are getting out and about. So it is a good time. It might be good just to kind of stay close to your home those, those couple of those days and just, you know, just feel comfortable. Just feel comfortable and watch. Watch and see what happens. So let's see if something does happen. I don't know. I just felt like the energies were just a little bit wonky. <laughs> okay? So what would that be? W-O-N-K-Y? Wonky? Anyway, let's start our readings now. Hello, my Geminis. How are you? I'm feeling good about you. So let's see what we have going on for you for this week. Here we go. Okay, cards are flying. They've been flying out. Oh, this one has been been working overtime. This is going to be an awesome week. This card has come out for a few of the signs. Three of Raphael. Three, you know, there's the power of three. So there's something that, uh, also two, you know, um, three times, uh, but power of three, you know, okay, you know, you can say something three times. You can do something three times. Lots lots of also creativity. This is also Raphael. It is our water energy. It is our Cancer Pisces Scorpio, fluid, very emotional. Oh, there's also a spiritual component to this too. Now, all of your cards are actually reversed. Here we go. Let's see what we have here. Now, Three of Raphael is all about celebrating, all about an emotional release, all about just putting it out there and just saying, you know, whatever it is that you do when you put something out to the universe. And it's just kind of a <sighs> type of sigh. It's a good energy. It is, you know, total, you know, total um, feeling good in your skin type of energy also. Now, the Three of Raphael is also about children, relationships, happy announcements, positive type of energy, and this is one of those things that I say let's accept it and let's hold it dear, near and dear to us. Anyway, reasons to celebrate. A community of friends, happy announcements regarding relationships or children. So there's a lot of fun with this. I do, I always like the, um, 
the the um my osha zen tarot cards when i when the three comes up the three of water or whatever this is it's these three ladies that are just having a ball they're out there and, you know i think that the uh, traditional tarot has it too they're out there in the rain they're rejoicing they're celebrating they're living life they're living large okay next card reversed here we are the knight of ariel now Ariel is our earth energy. It is Taurus. We're going to be going into Taurus soon. It's also Virgo. It's also Capricorn. Solid energy. Could be about your home. Could be about your money also. So there could be something celebrating about your home or your money. It could be a job. Knight's underlying energy is fire. Fire, Aries, uh, Leo, Sagittarius, passionate, burning, determined. Uh, the Knight of Ariel is going after something that they've been wanting. So is this an opportunity that has uh, um, that has opened up for you? Is this, I'm kind of feeling like this could be somebody paying off their mortgage, paying off their car, paying off something that has been a debt that has been hanging over them. And just, they're just feeling like, oh my gosh, this is lovely. This is wonderful. But at the same time, it gives you more impetus to get to work on the others, okay? So say that it's like you pay, you know, how what they say when you're, and you know, again, I'm not a financial counselor, but, you know, they say take your smallest debt, pay that off. Then go to your next debt, and you put what you were giving to your smallest plus, and you pay that off. So I kind of feel like it's just, it's this cascade effect. And now, again, it might not be debts, but it's like going after one milestone Getting, getting that and then saying, now we're going to take that same energy plus and sense, you know, and do it to the next milestone. It could be, though, I do kind of feel like it's paying off a mortgage, paying off a car, paying something off and just like, oh my goodness, there is such a relief and release here. But the Knight of Ariel says, uh-uh, don't just rest. You need to keep going. You need to keep getting, you know, go down, get, get to business. Now, Knights are also directional, so whenever, whatever you point them to, they're going to do it. Anyway, trustworthy, understanding, devoted, funny. There is so much to accomplish. Make a very detailed plan. Being watched over by someone kind. I like that. Next card reversed again. The Eight of Ariel. So we have Ariel energy again. Same earth energy. But eights means that there's unlimited opportunities, unlimited possibilities, infinite openings happening for you. You just need to make sure that you get ready. You get, you know, it's kind of like, I feel like ready, set, go. You know, on your mark, get set, go. You know, keep, you know, don't, don't rest. You know, this is, again, keep at it. Now, you can celebrate. You can have this sense of, oh my gosh, that's off. Maybe that's a school loan. It's, I just feel like it's like, you, you have done something with something that was over you, and now it's time to actually um, move forward with it. See that there's other possibilities. Now, this is also about studying, too. So, take great pride in your excellent work. Practice makes perfect. Consider getting additional education or training. But eights opening up, things opening up for you, possibly in your work. Um, again, too, you know, but again, I feel like it's, like there's a debt that has been paid, and now you're going to work on all the other debts one at a time, just one at a time, and there's a there's reason to celebrate with that. Now, how do you do that too? Well, not the celebration, but um, you know, it could be again, you know, maybe maybe that's a new job, maybe it's a job that paid you more, maybe you got a bonus, but or maybe you know, maybe you got your taxes back and it paid off that debt, and again, it gives you, there's a sense of there's a sense of freedom with that too, and remember. With Aries, I said, this is going to be a time to start living again. Okay, here we are, reversed. Page of Water. Now, Page's underlying energy is Earth. Water energy is, again, Raphael energy. Pages are enthusiastic. Page is just like, okay, I, I feel like I got this done. I can, you know, there's so much more I can do. There's, you know, that this, you know, this is like your momentum is pushing you forward. You know, the, the universe is kind of saying, you know, Gemini's, there's so much more. You know, there, you've been, there, you know, there might have been some stop, go for you, but now this is go, go, go type of thing. And, you know, again, it's all that, you know, on your market set, go, 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 move it forward. Um, you know, pages, very optimistic, anything is possible. 
intuitive, sensitive, artistic, friendly. A new person enters your life. A relationship begins a new phase. Heightened psychic abilities. So this, I mean, I, I, this is like, again, I feel like it was a dead, again, I can keep going through the same scenario, but it's like there's something that is off your back and it's reason to celebrate and it's now, there's a sense of optimism and there's a sense of, oh, we got past that, now let's go on for the next. And there's also a sense of accomplishment too. So let's see what we might have for a crystal or energy for my Gemini's. Here we are. This one is reversed. Citrine. Citrine is a wonderful, wonderful stone. Now I do have a polished citrine here somewhere, but we'll just go with this one. This is raw. Citrine is about wealth, enhanced career prospects, self-esteem, manifestation. So if you have some, carry it with you. Wear it. If, you, if, it, if you've got it for jewelry, put it at your bedside. Remember, my Geminis, what I said earlier, please like, share, subscribe. As always, my Geminis, know that you are loved, stay shining, and be blessed. Bye-bye.